Oh, Odor. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> he has giant blood in him, right? Jesus, what a fucking dick, you're right. That's Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and we're back for another reaction video. This one is for Game of Thrones! Game of Thrones Season 1 Episode 8 and it's called The Pointy End. And we know that Ned told Arya, sticking with The Pointy End, as well as Jon Snow did. I think, yeah, Jon Snow did it exactly, to be sh exactly, whatever. Jon Snow did it, I'm not sure if um, Arya told Ned to her father to stick with the pony. That was that was it. Just forgot it. Sorry. If you're watching this on the Thursday, this Thursday, like uh, eight of February, then you will be on Patreon. I want to thank you guys for being on my Patreon and pledging to see this video early. If you see this video on the, um, let's check it out. If you see this video on the 15th of February, then you are not on Patreon. And of course, I also want to thank you guys for watching my videos and being loyal and subscribing and stuff like that. Because to me, that's actually the same. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make money, but it's a bonus. So if you want to, to watch these videos early, you can go to Patreon. You will pledge for $1 and you can see every video early, at least for Game of Thrones. Now get into this episode. Last episode, by the way. Last episode, we saw that Ned got arrested by fucking Joffrey, who is now at the throne, even though Robert didn't want it. Robert died. Dead motherfuckers killed off Robert. One of the actors that one of the actors and characters that I liked the most, at least for this season, and he killed him off by a bite of a bear, boar, bite of a boar. Damn. Um, we saw that Jon Snow didn't become a um, scout, he became a caretaker, and he is a uh, to be exacted caretaker of the commander. Um, and Sam did, did, did say some very interesting things that he might take him as a caretaker to uh, lead him up as a new commander. But I'm really sure because it, the laugh of the guy was like, hmm, hmm, no, no. I didn't think he uh, he was taken for that. It just, I think he just was taken for that to piss him off, I think, maybe. Or I'm just wrong. Because yeah, with Game of Thrones, you never know. Also said that Jon Snow's wolf ghost game with a hand. And who the fuck was his hand off? Uh, why was that hand even in the forest? White walkers? Wildlings? Not sure. Also we saw that um, little figure, that motherfucker. I really liked him. Maybe I'm still gonna like him. I'm not sure but he... Uh, Ned was my favorite character and the character that I rooted for. And he fucked over Ned because of money and um, power and, and stuff like that. Um, and we saw that epic speech of Khal Drogo, Jesse Momoa. That dude is a fucking legend. I have uh, recorded a bonus video uh, that, wherein I reacted to his war speech in uh, episode 7. You can see it on my YouTube channel if you want, of course. And um, if you haven't yet already, because it's now on for a week. Fuck, I have to, I have to think about that. This will be first on Patreon. Doesn't matter. A lot of shit happened last episode. I had a really tough job on editing it correctly. I I, I let a, I left a, a lot of episode footage out, but I left the sound in, so I could I could put more in in the in the reaction. I've seen your comments about making it a two-parter. I I actually I hate two parts because and it may, this may sound don't uh, this may sound not likely, but. Uh, a lot of you guys, and maybe not of course everyone, but uh, skip the first part because mostly in the second part there is more interesting stuff. And they skip the first video and go on to the second video already without seeing the first one. And I've put a lot of I put a lot of 
effort in editing both parts that I think it would suck a lot if you go to the second part without seeing the first part and um, the other thing is that it takes a lot of fucking time to edit even though I have a, I have a pretty badass, badass laptop that can handle a lot of shit it still takes a lot of time rendering with um, with the setup as a um, as a video, it takes more time that I've than than with the less uh, less professional setup I had. It takes even more time, so that's actually why I don't like to do two parts because, it, like I said, it takes a lot more time to edit a video and then put it out and stuff like that. It, if you can forgive me for not making the two parts and. Um, cutting out a little bit more of the footage and leaving more of the sound in then please, please forgive me for that because it, 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 it saves me a lot of time and if there are epic uh, epic scenes in it, epic speeches or whatever then I do it just like I did with the Kyle Drogo speech I'll just make a bonus video I wanted to, to do a bonus video on the prayer that, um, that, that Jon Snow and uh, Sam did at the uh, tree the thing just before uh, uh, Ghost came up with a hand or just an underarm but maybe I'm going to do it later because I didn't react to it really much uh, and I felt I reacted more to the epic speech of Karl Drogo so um, yeah without further ado I talked too much already uh, let's go into this episode it's season 1 episode 8 uh, the pointy end stick with the pointy end and uh, yeah this uh, just um, subtitles for Fuck, I almost forgot again. Shit. Go! Even though I don't like you, but go. God damn it. Oh shit. Fuck. Come with us. Your father wants to see you. And why is it? That Lord Eddard is sending Lannister back <clears throat> in place of his own. I am wondering. Mind your place. Is he going to die? Master. I. <laughs> <I'm serious>. Not <laughs> just a fucking little man. Ooh, oh shit! And that would have won a sword. Be speaking to me with. Oh damn! Bring the girl. Wow! With a fucking wooden sword. Wow! Wow! This man is amazing! Shit, we're gonna miss him. The first sword of Bravos does not run. Shit. 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 Sticking with the pointy end! Oh shit! And she just got first murder. Lord Stark, you must be thirsty. Oh, that's Varys. Varys. Can he be trusted? I promise you, it isn't poison. <laughs> Why did no one ever trust the new <laughs> What madness led you <laughs> to tell the Queen you had learned the truth about Joffrey's birth? Madness of mercy. <laughs> she cut. It costs you fucking. She wasn't the wine that killed Robert, nor the boar. The wine slowed him down, and the boar ripped him open. But it was your mercy that killed oh, the king. Oh shit! And did a while, I'd say. The smell. What smell? No what smell. Oh shit, a rotting curb, yeah. Time, they a rot. They got they froze. We should burn them. Uh, the snow's not wrong, my lord. Fire will do for them. The wire going away. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything stupid. 
Just going to try to. Lies here now. Oh this shit, desertion. Desertion. I'm sure they'll be uh, treated gently. Your father has proved to be an awful traitor, dear. King Robert's body was still warm when Lord Eddard began plotting to steal Joffrey's rightful throne. He wouldn't do that. He knows how much I love Joffrey. He wouldn't. Please, Your Grace, there's been a mistake. Send for my father. He'll tell you. The king was his friend. Yet you're the daughter of a traitor. The work on her. How can I allow you to marry my son? A child born to seed is no fit consort for our king. You'll see. I'll be a queen just like you, I promise. Oh, shit. I won't hatch anything. <laughs> she wow. <laughs> oh shit. To prove her loyalty. I mean seriously treason. Oh wow. <laughs> It is your sister's hand, but the Queen's words. Mm -hmm. You're summoned to King's Landing to swear fealty to the new king. Joffrey puts my father in chains. Now he wants his ass kissed. This he is would you, he, would, he would put you in the dungeon you also. You afraid? <laughs> yeah. I think so. It must be. Shake it. Good. Why is that good? Means you're not stupid. There are a lot of ravens. With a lot of messages. Hmm? You've had this since dawn. He sent it to me, not you. Is this woman stupid or what? <laughs> Family means everything to me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I will not risk Robin's life to get caught up in another of your husband's wars. I'm hungry. When you meet your gods, you tell them Shagger, son of Dorf, of the Stone Crow sent you. I am Tyrion, son of Tywin, of Clan Lannister. How would you like to die, Tyrion, son of Tywin? Not. In my own bed? <laughs> With a belly full of wine and a girl's mouth around my gun. <laughs> but if you help us, Shagger, son of Dorf, I will not give you trinkets. I will give you this. Hmm? What is this? The Vale of Erin. What? The lords of the Vale have always spat upon the hill tribes. The lords of the Vale want me dead. I believe it is time for new lords of the Vale. Wow. Wow. <laughs> He's plucking a chicken. Bastard. You motherfucker. John, dude! Lord will always tell. You will hang for this bastard. Why the fuck? You're a hot head, man. You need to come down a little bit. Ghost, what's wrong? Something wrong there. Oh, Commander. Fuck. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the hell? Do something, man. That's the dude who died, right? Okay, um, that's not good. Wow. At least he's sticking with the point yet. What the fuck? Oh shit. Ouch. What the fuck? I can only assume that is a White Walker?
This is how it's always been. I do not have a gentle heart, sir. Then stop showing it. Yes, the Anish called Droga and Isabel Zerik. Good. One more. Denaris. I think he shoot it hard enough. What do you want done with him? My ass hurts from this fucking heart chair. You cannot claim them all, princess. I can. What are you gonna do with him? And I will. As I could use me out of my Mish Finia said to his sister this. And you need out of my boss so soon. He's got he's grown soft too. I'm not Jarak Mosale. Mobo. He's not just Oh. Oh, it's mine. Oh, dude. Wow. Wow. This pieces of him. Wow. Whoa, shit. Oh. Oh, damn. Ho, ho. Wow. No. <laughs> I like this dude. His wound must be washed and so, or it will fester. When I am done with the Lannisters, I will march back north, root you out of your keep. Dude. An oathbreaker. Oathbreaker, is it? I'll not sit here and swallow insults from a boy so greedy, pisses grass. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Oh shit! He just did enough. He just did enough. My lord father told me it was death to bear steel against your liege lord. Doubtless, the great John only meant to cut my meat for me. <laughs> your meat. He's gonna bow down. It's bloody tough. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is that? <laughs> that oh hold on. Oh, <laughs> he has giant blood in him, right? Jesus, what a fucking dick, you're right. Go back and find your clothes, Hydor. Go dress. Hmm? Hold on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a they really giant. Damn. They were touched by white walkers. White walkers. That's why they came back. That's why their eyes turned blue. Shit. So the world white walkers. Fire will stop them. I hope the wall's high enough. Oh damn. That is a big ass fucking wall. Do you know what happened to the Targaryen children when the Mad King fell? They were butchered in the sleep. Hmm. On the orders of Tywin Lannister. And the years have not made him kinder. You said that the men of the mountain clans are great warriors. Ride with me against my enemies and you shall have all my son promised you and more. Only if the half-man fights with us. Until we hold the steel he pledged us. He can't fight. The dragon's <laughs> life is ours. <laughs> Lannister always pays his death. The scout support Lord Tywin. Are you touched, boy? Let him go. You call me boy again. Go on. <laughs> uh, he's still remembering the the hand bit off by the fucking wolf. It's like we're looking so at a little Eminem. Himself. You've served the realm long and faithfully. Every he's, man and woman Wow, is he's gonna get with pe pension. But it is time to put aside your armor and your sword. It is time to rest and look back with pride on your many years of service. Your grace of King's Shit. guard is sworn brother. Jamie Wright. Our vows are taken for life. Only death relieves us of our sacred trust. Whose death 
Sir Barristan, yours or your king's? You let my father die. Wow. To protect anybody. I am a knight. I shall die a knight. A naked knight, apparently. <laughs> Here, boy. Melt it down and add it to the others. He said I wasn't the king. Why did he say that? He was badly hurt. Mr. Pycelle was giving him milk of the poppy. He Ooh. wasn't himself, otherwise he never would have said it. Child's faith. <laughs> Such sweet innocence. And yet they say wisdom oft comes from <laughs> Oh, you're going to be a little bit too obvious here, Ferris. <clears throat> if you still have any affection in your heart for me, please... Do me this kind of your words. Your sweet words have moved me. But your father has to confess. He has to confess and say that I'm the king. <clears throat> or there'll be no mercy for him. <whistles> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wow, I was, I was a little bit agitated about a fucking uh, motor driving through the street at like fucking 3 uh, almost 4 a.m. in the morning probably uh, where I live there's a lot of burglary and stuff like that so there must be a burglar around here I don't give a shit because I'm a security guard <laughs> but that's not about the episode this episode was crazy we saw we saw uh, Rob Stark going going up to south with 18 to 20,000 men where he, um, he he gathers some other uh, got uh, gather some other men and, and, and villages to help this was a very it, it, it looked like a very long episode even though I really liked it and it this show every episode so much happens and you have to be on your fucking sharpest sharp shit to see everything that's happening various can he be trusted because yeah like i said i i i trusted i trusted fucking baelish and look look what happened he was just out there for himself and i've seen various going to ned a couple times but it could also be to troll us off you know because you never know you never know about this <laughs> you never know about this show and that's what i like so much about the show that it throws you off on so many different occasions that you see the you see the actor you see the character and he, he's saying something and he, he could still throw you off even though you think it's good or whatever we saw the first white walkers or at least since the first episode of the season and we learn more about them. Um, we learned that it's it's actually pretty much similar to the Walkers from The Walking Dead, uh, for at least from what I know right now, because uh, they talked about them getting in in um, in contact with the White Walkers, uh, making them turn and come back. And from what I've seen, that they they almost looked like the walks from the walking dead but this one because it burned they died and in the walks from the walking dead they when they burn they still be alive you have to f fucking kill the the, st the brain stem so we're probably gonna see them a lot and I thought are we gonna like Sam but yeah I like Sam for his wisdom and um, like um, commander said that uh, he was, he isn't brave, but he is smart as fuck. He didn't say actually smart as fuck, but that's just what I made for him. So really, really, really good episode. Uh, we saw Tywin. Uh, we saw Tyrion being being escorted back from uh, f with those with uh, with uh, the other tribe. I'm trying my best to to, rem to remember names. Probably in the next episode, I'll remember their names when they're dead or gone or whatever but um 
they're gonna fight with Tywin in the battle against Robb Stark. Uh, Robb Stark got um, re reunited with his mother. Um, the youngest Stark is a real, a real rebellion here. He's real, 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 real. Bran, he um, he had a little talk with uh, with the with the wildling when he was praying, and it was really, really nice uh, hearing uh, hearing that, that that story about um, the gods and the wind and stuff like that. And really nice, really really good. Um, at this moment, I'm really tired and I need to go to sleep to edit some shit tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I really really like this episode. Really like it. One more thing that I wanted to say. It's almost like we're looking at a small fucking M&M, &M, you know. <laughs> Joffrey being, he did, like I said, it, it's, it's, a, it's a miniature M&M. &M. Is he really gonna pay, is, is, is he really moved by Sansa's words and is he really, really gonna show him mercy if he, if he confesses? I'm not sure what those land stories you never know. Oh fuck! Pharrell! Serial Pharrell! I, I hope he's still alive. We haven't seen him die. That was that was sad as fuck. That was sad as fucking fuck. Yeah, like I said. If you liked this episode, if you like this reaction, then please give it a thumbs up if you want, of course, and you could share around this video and have uh, my speech is damn. I really need to go to bed. If you liked, oh fuck, I'm, oh, if you want, you don't have to, of course, you could subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, please click that little bell button and you will be automatically updated when there's a new video coming out. And about Patreon, blah, 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 blah. just look at the beginning of the video, which you already did. Blah, 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 ciao.